Do you know what one noise is versus other noise? Yeah, exposure is gain in time. Gain being aperture, time being shutter speed. As I've told people before, ISO is not part of actual exposure, not digital photography. ISO is applied gain. Yeah, yeah, you know all that. Okay, what about the different types of noise? Now, I'm going to post a link below. It's on uh, Petapixel's website, and it's called uh, the uh, Star Eater. Petapixel... Yeah, I'm actually typing while making a video. Pixpix Star Eater. Star Eater. There's an article over there. Star Eater issue. Why I no longer recommend uh, Sony. <laughs> there's the, there it is. There's the article. Uh, yeah, see, Sony had a firmware update. And, like, all these astrophotographers are like, my stars are gone. Like the low-gain stars, meaning, like, the slightly dimmer stars. Yeah. You see, the reason that Sony did that is Sony is a noisy camera. And I'm not talking about noisy when it comes to exposure. It's like, you know, it's like a high ISO, grainy shot, noise. No, that's a different type of noise. Now, I made a video about like a year and a half ago where I took two identical pictures and I used a little point-and-shoot camera. And then I ziplocked it in a bag and I stuck it in the freezer and I chilled it down. Not for too long, but I got it really chill. Really chill. And then I took the same shot, and I told people to blow it up, and it's like, what? There's a lot less noise on the cool camera. It's called electronic noise. You see? This is the way it works. The sensor is not just sensitive to visible light. No. That's why there are infrared pass filters on there. Yeah, you know, right, 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 right. You know what? It's full spectrum conversion on a digital camera. Other types of what we call electronic noise. So we have exposure noise. Like, say, for example, a high ISO. Okay. That's the type of noise. So, uh, Sony cameras, which I've talked about this before, are incredibly noisy. But this is not me picking on Sony. Really, it's not. However, I'll put the link to this. <laughs> Neat article below. It's like why I don't recommend Sony anymore for astrophotography. They applied a firmware update to the Sony cameras, A7R2, and I don't know which other cameras, A7S, um to eliminate out electronic noise, okay? Not exposure noise, okay? Exposure noise is one thing, electronic noise is something else. This is where the noise of the camera, of all the little circuits firing and everything, is packed in there really, really tight. The sensor is shielded as best as it can be shielded, but there's a crap load of noise going on there. EMI, RFI. Um, the sensor, ultimately, if the signal is close enough and the gain is good enough, will cause the photo sites to fire like there's no uh, real light hitting it but it's not real light this is also why astro cameras you'll actually see astro cameras these attachments for astro cameras for professional telescope uh, for astro photographers where it chills the sensor there's a complicated very expensive device that chills the sensor like really really multi multi mean gigantic gigantic damn telescopes these sensors are uh, cooled right to the point of liquid nitrogen. That's really cold, okay? Coming from a guy that has a couple Dewar flasks in the basement, I used to get my liquid nitrogen filled up for superconductor experiments. Yeah, that's pretty damn cold. So Sony is a really noisy camera. But I'm not picking on Sony in this video, even though you probably think I am. Sony! <laughs> Sony! <laughs> I want to point out to you that what you think is noise in your shot, like... This is a known fact. People that go out to the desert when it's really hot, they'll actually wait for the sun to set or they'll actually keep their camera in a bag in a cooler with some ice and they'll actually take it out and take X number of shots. So it turns out that uh, their shots we just have tons of noise if the camera's too hot. They try to chill the camera down. Um, but chill it down in a safe way where there's no condensation or anything happening to the camera, but just chill the camera down. And then when it warms back up, you put it in multiple Ziplocs. You stick it back in the ice cooler for a little while. And this dramatically improves their shots. So, I just want to point out that to you. Everybody's talking about noise. Like, I got a noisy picture. It's like, was it a hot day? It's like, yeah, how did you know? Were you on the beach? Yeah, how did you know that? Because that was not exposure noise. Not something you should blame the camera for. That <clears throat> a camera is also to become more lossy. That's actually the technical word. Lossy. When cameras heat up and electronics heat up, they become lossy. That means they start screaming out EMI and RFI. And then EMI and RFI hits the sensor. 
even though the sensor is shielded. And uh, that EMI and RFI hitting the sensor causes a false reading. The sensor will read that lossy EMI and RFI as light hitting it. It will register it as noise. So you'll think that, well, this is a crappy image. You know, I got grainy images. They're like noisy. Yeah, but it's not exposure noise. It's electronic noise. So exposure noise, electronic noise. Nobody's made a video about this except for me as far as I know. And uh, it's actually kind of important. Yeah, at least I think it's important. Someone else might go, I don't care. It's like, okay, whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles your pickle. You know, at least now you know. People were amazed when I made that video. It's like, wow, it's a lot less grainy after you stuck that little point-and-shoot camera in a Ziploc bag and stuck it in the freezer for an hour. It's like, yeah, well, the camera was cool. You know, even on a point-and-shoot camera, and I can make noticeable difference in how noisy a grainy image looks. I mean, I make it look a lot less noisy just by chilling the camera. The problem comes in chilling a camera becomes hazardous to the camera because... Cameras generally aren't meant to be stuck in the freezer. <laughs> you get what I'm talking about? Yeah. This is all the technical aspect of digital photography you probably didn't know and you probably didn't care about, but I wanted to make the video anyway. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. And this is Petapixel's article, and you could take a look at their uh, fine, well, wonderful article. And I'll put a link to, yeah, all that stuff, right? I'm tired. Bite. My foot is also cut really bad, so I'm limping like a wounded animal. That's when someone's going to say, shoot him! <laughs> okay, bye. Ow. Ow.